I was with my abusive partner for 18 years and I finally built up the courage to leave him. And during a six week period, um, he bombarded me with texts, phone calls. He was outside my place of work, opposite me, sat in his vehicle. And I come home from work the one day and all my clothes had, had, had been bleached. But this one recognised by myself as stalking and the police didn't recognise it as stalking either. My perception of a stalker at the time was somebody, you know, that be hiding in bushes, pinching your underwear off the line. I didn't think, you know, somebody you didn't know, I didn't think it was um, going to be somebody you were trying to break up with, you know, an ex-partner. Um, and I think by the time I reported it, I was in it quite deep because I tried to manage it myself, you know, pacify him in, in the beginning, you know, sending little messages back, you know, listen, it's over, you know, just got to leave me alone, trying to sort of manage it. But before I knew it then, I was too deep then because it went beyond that then. So this happened, like I said, a, built, a six week period of, of, of going through that with, with the, to it was total harassment. You know, when you look at it now, 40 phone calls a day and texts, and it resulted in him on the 19th of August, 2011, coming into my place of work, which is a hairdresser's, armed with a sawn off shotgun. There was a battle in the shop and he ended up shooting me. And then after he shot me, he battered me he went off and hung himself and then I was in hospital for almost six weeks and I came out of hospital on Friday, on the Friday the 23rd of September and my 16 year old son committed suicide on the 26th of September. So this is a result of an abusive partner and he probably could have got stopped if all the, the pieces were picked up in that six week period. Victims and survivors don't realise they're in it till they're in it. I mean, all they want, for me certainly, and, and the women I speak to, we just want them to leave us alone. And when you break up with your partner and they're constantly sending you texts, harassing, coming around, the sh coming around your house, you know, maybe sending you flowers, you know, unwanted gifts. Um, it might seem like, oh, it's only a bunch of flowers, but there's a reason why why they're doing it and it's usually because they're obs obsessed and it's be obsessive behavior um, and it's a pattern which could result in something like what happened to me you know so when when you when you do disclose to the police you know the worst thing the police can do is say well block them mm -hmm. or change your phone or don't answer don't, don't answer the door you know mm -hmm. But you shouldn't put that on the on the victim. You know, the, the owner should be put on the perpetrator. You know, just take take the victim serious because it takes a lot for her to come forward and actually disclose. And for her to disclose, then you know she's in it deeper because she's tried to manage it herself or he's tried to manage it himself for a while. So um, yeah, so by the time they let you know, it is quite serious.